I literally don't know how that just happened. Today's video is going to be a little bit different. It's not going to be a sit down video, but it's also not going to be a vlog because it's going to be both. I take you along on every single thing I do as a book lover, but I just want to squish it all in one day. So we have a book haul thrifting video kind of because my library is having like a book sale and then I'm going to read. So we're going to do a little reading vlog. So come along besties. I kind of want a soda from McDonald's. So maybe I should listen to like an audio book and go to McDonald's or something. But I definitely want like a fun drink. I don't want water. Are you in the mood for an adult romance? or why a romance is really the question for this drive. Well, you'll see in the next clip, so. Let's turn on the car and not shake the camera. Oh, it just started pouring, but today's the day I find out that McDonald drinks are no longer a dollar. It's hailing. Can you hear it? <laughs> the moment I start to film the rain, the hail, it stops. Watch, now that it's on me, it's gonna start hailing again. I swear I'm not making up the hail. Anyways, as I was saying, anyways, as I was saying, McDonald drinks are not a dollar anymore. Mm, but it hits. A sweet tea is so good. I usually get a large like Coke or Dr. Pepper, but I've been loving a sweet tea. You have to get it sweet because they add like literally five cups of sugar. So it's like you're drinking pure sugar but I love it. Oh, I do have a cardigan. Eh, it smells good. Let's do the library and then um, the mall. Also, this was the Chosen Podcast, the cheat sheet, which I actually think I made the right choice. The second chapter is pretty good. I've been digging it. So I'm going to enjoy this on my ride to the library. So we're actually going to Target because I couldn't turn, um left all the way into a right lane so we're here but there is a book section so i'll check that out for y'all as you can tell my target is absolutely wiped clean but i did manage to find a couple new books including paris hilton's memoir i did not know she came out with a book and that's pretty interesting but other than that, I did not find anything pretty new. I mean, Under the Sycamore Tree has been there for a while. So that was kind of a bust. Take y'all to the library sale. Where Target fails, the library rocks. So right when I walked in, I found three YA books that I thought were pretty cool. We have David Yoon, Where She Went, and even this really cool book talk book with fake stickers, as I always say. But this is my best find of the day. I got Love Light Farms. Look how excited I am. I got Love Light Farms by BK Borison. I am over the moon by this find because the version I got is actually the out of print like original cover because if you go on Amazon and you try to look for this version, you will not find it. So I got something that's really, really special. Today, the library kind of popped off with the adult section. Usually, they have like one or two good adult books, but today I saw Sally Thorne, I saw Amber Smith, and I saw like so many authors that I know and I've heard of, and that's not common for my book sale. I even found books that I was genuinely interested in, so they have books that are just good today. But I started doing these like overviews for y'all to see just in case I missed anything. Also, I swear that was a YA book, so that's why I was recording it, but you guys let me know. I actually spent 
spent about like 20 minutes debating on getting this book called I think it's like The Last to Let Go by Amber Smith I think and I forgot what like the first book is called I'll add it like on the screen I was going back and forth a lot and also I saw a TikToker get it on like my For You page like two days ago why am I so easily influenced I got Love Light Farms which I'm so so excited for I have mixed feelings by this author and that's the third book in this series and I haven't read that yet because I kind of want to read like it's not a series it's a series but it's standalone and so i wanted to read like the christmas like the first book the christmas version you know what i mean the first book is like christmas theme during christmas but i didn't and so i was like thinking recently like literally a day ago like oh i shouldn't read mixed feelings like because it's on my tbr and i just wanted to read it and the next thing you know i find this at my library and i was shocked because one it's like indie publish it's like very rare to find self-published books at my like library book sale because a lot of the time they have like ex library books or like what people donate you know this is rare i think this person like dnf'd it because they're on page 100 and there's a bookmark in here like a sticky note but it's my turn so next i got temper and this was a book that I have never ever heard of and I read the back and I was like this sounds interesting and I want it. I'm trying to find books that I genuinely find interesting and like recommend myself books basically rather than just like I don't know like read what's like trending and popular which like I still love to do like no shame in that at all like I love to read like the top 10 and like whatever people are reading like I want to hop on the bandwagon as well but there's just something so special about like putting something on the map or like just finding something like by yourself maybe this book is like really really popular and I'm just living under a rock but I well also this is a thriller and I rarely ever ever read I don't read thrillers like this is a psychological thriller I'm really excited for this so yeah I'm so excited. Let's go home and actually read. Every time I think I take off all of my mascara, I somehow have more. So this is what I look like. But a very late update to the day. I was going to go home and read because I was like, oh, I should read for this like reading adventure vlog of things a book lover loves to do. But I really just didn't. <laughs> Anyways, I'm just going to read for the rest of the night, and then I think that's it. So thank you so much for watching, and thank you for joining me on this book-filled adventure day. I hope you enjoy, and I'll catch you on the flip side. Peace. Good night. POV, reading in the night.